There are a couple of reflections on here, but mostly today it's about translations. Okay, that's which is a not. Nah, I'm guessing most people didn't finish it, but. Oh, what was it when you said? Oh, do you want to pick them up? No. Um, so reflection, the kind of normal word for that was a flip, right? Translation. What they mean by that, the normal word is a slide. Like, oh. So it's kind of basic. You just so a slide would be like, here's the triangle, and we move it this direction, and here's the new triangle. Okay, that's a translation. It just moves over. So it's really basic. Um, but something that's not a little bit new is we're going to talk about vectors today to kind of go with this. Do you guys know what a vector is? Like, like. Like a guy in like an orange jumpsuit that steals the moon. But I actually do know what it is. It's like this part. It's a part. Oh yeah! I'm just ruining it. It's this part right here. And then an angle is this part, right? No. That's the vertex. The vertex. Wait. Okay. Yeah, from the Despicable Me movie, he says a vector has direction and magnitude. So you guys know what direction means. Magnitude just means. Is that why the name the vector? Okay, magnitude means how long the vector is. Okay, vectors are used to represent different things. Like, usually it's like a force, like wind or just pressure or whatever. So when you have pressure, it has a magnitude, like a strength, and it has direction. So we represent them with these little arrow things that look like rays, but they're called vectors. There's a couple different ways to write what a vector is. Um, we're going to be using like coordinates. So how far is this vector moving in the x direction? How far is this vector moving in the x direction? <laughs> Two. Two. How far is it moving in the y direction? Um, three. Three. So we could describe this vector as being two, three. So, so it, usually they call it like vector V, and over here they put like a little V with the little vector symbol on top. So V is like two, three. So that means it's moving two to the right and three up. Okay. But so, why is those parentheses instead of regular parentheses? Uh, be, because two, three. If I put parentheses, that's oh, a dot. that's a dot. That's a point on the plane. So 2, 3 is a point on, on the x-y coordinate plane. But a vector, it's not really, it doesn't really have any specific, it can be anywhere, but wherever it is, it goes right 2, up 3, right? That's, that's the important part. Okay, so if I set another vector, let's say it's vector k, and it went like this. Whoops. 1. Okay, what would that be? Be over 1. Three. Over negative one. Negative one. And then up three. Three. Four. 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 Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, just moves left one up four. Um, by the way, we're only doing this like once today, but how would I find the length of this vector? Um, uh, rise over rise. No, that's slope. Um, how long is this line? Well, let's go back to this. this let's go back to this one. Oh, yeah. is it going to be 2 squared plus 3 squared equals 3 squared? Right. Oh, yay! <laughs> that only happens once. So it's not really... <laughs> That's the one thing I really understand. My diagram is zero. Well, get ready for it. Okay. 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 We are starting with reflections, though. And you don't really need graph paper for this. We used graph paper yesterday, but one through four is about reflections. So it's a little bit review. It's kind of hard though, because there's no graph paper to help us. Can we do it together, one through four? No, just one and three. <laughs> so I'll go to normal paper, so it's like you guys. Mr. Jordan, did your internet work this morning? Yeah. Mr. Plumber is literally just you. No, it's not. It's me, Miss Plumber, Olivia, and then somebody else. Well, let me see if I got on the internet. Mine yeah, I put it like this. It's because, no, like on your, like your cellular data oh. on your phone. So it's because the, the tower got struck last night. 
I actually saw it. There was it. a ridiculous amount of thunder last night. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I was yeah. Or was crying. It was around right midnight. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even know it rained. It like it rumbled. Like the rumbling lasted for 30, 30 minutes straight without stopping. It, yeah, it was crazy. It was I like, said, <sighs> yeah. That's not. I, I was out cold by 11. But I didn't. I thought, I was like, I thought it was my grandpa hey. by 9:40. I thought it was my grandpa flipping on the lights. That I'm not gonna miss it. But it was actually just lightning. And then you were productive, right? Okay. So what we're supposed to do is copy the picture on number one. We have to. You have to draw dots on it. Yes. That was terrible. But what is it gonna take forever? Yeah, it's not that bad. Productivity. Why do I have to draw stuff? Why do you have to draw stuff, Jaden, that you're 14 year old, with, like, without drawing? Yeah, but I don't just draw math stuff. Jaden, I'm going to go home, get on my grandparents' computer. This is like way less than 1% of your my grandparents video. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Jordan, do you like your Then I'll have five. Like, like my what? Smart board a lot. Yeah. I remember, like, Okay, so what we're supposed to do is reflect these over L and then reflect that image over N. They call this starting point the pre-image because where it ends up is the final image. Anyway, um, so how do you reflect Y over this line? So however far away you draw Y away from the line, that's where the reflected point should be, right? Like that same distance. So Y prime, remember we called it Y prime yesterday, would be about right there. On my picture. Yes, this is the answer. Okay, so where would X be? X is a little bit farther away from the line, so X prime. It doesn't have to be exact, right? But you're in D Just gotta be kind of close. Okay, then we flip it again over line M. Oh. So, where is X gonna go? Is X or Y gonna be closer to this line over here? X. X. X is closer on this side, so when you flip it, it'll be closer too. Just try to kind of make it like the same. About right there. And we'll call that X double prime. And then Y is kind of way far away, so we'll call that Y double prime. How does how does the first image compare to the last image? No, well, it shouldn't. No. <laughs> So it should look the same as the first, because when you flip it once, it kind of backwards, and you flip it again, it should go back to where it was. So the first image should look like the last image. Number two looks like Braille. Why is the dotted lines on the on certain ones and not on other ones? It was I was just helping me myself. Oh. It's not really required. Yeah, Emily. But. It does. It does make drawing it easier. I knew it. It does make drawing it easier because you can tell whether your lines are the same length and then in the right direction. Okay, number three. So I'm gonna draw the kind of the same thing, but with triangle this time. The triangle looks like an acute isosceles.
elevate more. Sure. Buddy. Okay, we don't need to get into that. <laughs> we don't need James, like, there's on. enough of me for. <laughs> Ladies, please. enough Jake to go around. Oh boy. <laughs> So you get six or eight. Okay. Wait, yeah. yeah. Hold on, I gotta write it. Number five. Okay. I did If you're still drawing, you come back to it. Well, how do you read Those one through four takes a while, but after that, the rest of them aren't quite that hard. Okay, on at number five, I feel like I forgot something. Oh, never mind. 
Okay, it says state the image of P when it is translated by each vector. So do you guys see P in the yes. gra on the graph? Mm -hmm. It's at one, two. So 5A says vector 3, 2. E. So if we move P in a vector of 3, 2, where will it end up at? E. E. Just moves it right 3 and up 2. So P would be moved to E. That make sense? Okay, so somebody besides Roman B. So we're still starting at point P. But B, the B vector is negative 2, negative 4. So where would that go? Yeah. Left 2, down 4. Yes, that is at G. Okay, so somebody besides Roman and Corey. Good job, C is negative 3, 1. Let me do this one. B. Yes. Let me do it. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> You really hurt his feelings. He called shotgun. All right, you can do this one, Jaden. I'm going to do you, Jaden. <laughs> no. Okay, D is negative 1. Oh, negative two. shut <laughs> up. Hey, oh Jaden, so bad. If you're moving it from A to B, what's the vector? Oh, so we're writing, we're writing what they look like. You're writing the, ve the vector, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, number seven is kind of the same as number six. You're supposed to write what vector would move segment AB to the next segment, A prime, B prime. Um, so you can use either point A or point B. So we'll let Jaden do this one. So Jaden, how would we move from A? Well, I can do this one. It's the same thing. It's almost the same thing, just backwards. How, how would we move from A to A prime on seven? On seven, yeah. Come on, Jen, you got this. Um, wait, what are we showing? How would you move it from A to A prime? Whoa. You'd have, it, have to move it right how far? Um, So if you're walking from A to A prime, how far oh. how far right would you have to go? Um, I count. Yeah, you have to count. Six. Six. And then after you walked right six, where what would you have to do? Go down two. Right. So how do we write a vector that moves stuff right six and down two? Um, Um, the directions also said write the mapping rule. So basically like what's happening to the x value and what's happening to the y value. So the x value would be increasing by 6 and the y value would be decreasing by 2. So that's the, that's the rule. X values are increasing by 6, y values decreasing by 2. You have to write both. Yeah, they want to both. You have to do that on everyone? Yep, all six of those. Okay. I that's just it's easy. So like... If you're just moving positive, you can make, oh, I don't know, I see what you're Positive plus negative minus. All right. Numero nine. Okay, so it's important to note that we're going from O to O prime. So we're going from black to red, not red to black. So how would we go from black to red on number nine? Negative four. Right, negative four, not moving up or down, so it's negative four, zero. So that would be x minus 4. You probably just put y. I don't think you need y plus 0, but what they put? They just put y. But that's okay. On 11, so we're starting from center C to center C prime. How does that one move? 4. Left four, so that would be negative, negative four. four, and then up three. So you start at black, go to red. That's it. So that would be x minus four, y plus three. What about white? 
Okay. <laughs> You're like because you got like. I'm bilingual. Did you girls translate that? <laughs> oh, you thought I was saying okay. I was yeah. saying. Yeah. Oh, you said. Okay. I was saying. Oh, okay. uh, why? Is what? That, what? No, I'm close. <laughs> A. You just failed your Spanish quiz. <laughs> I already did that. Uh, <laughs> Par for the course. <laughs> Okay, 13 is kind of like number one, but it's a little bit, it's easier because we're not reflecting them. We're just sliding. So we're supposed to draw that picture, triangle PRQ, and we're supposed to draw the vector. You're supposed to draw a picture? Oh gosh. Yeah, it's another, it's another picture. Okay, so we're just supposed to move triangle PRQ using vector B. So I can kind of cheat on the smart board because like each point, actually I'm going to make my vector longer so it's not over tapping. There. Oh no. I need to redraw it. Vector symbol. Okay, so P is going to move like right here. Move P prime. R. Wait, did I draw the R? What? Okay. How are we supposed to? I think I, I, accidentally, like I, think I accidentally split it. No, it doesn't have. You don't really need to do that. Just. Just guesstimate. Yeah, I mean your your image should look alike, right? Because you're just sliding everything. Oh, mine does not look alike. So P is like moving like right here, right? So that's P prime. R is moving. R prime. And Q is moving. See? Still looks alike. I got a trapezoid. I got a circle. <laughs> I mean, they both look like triangles. They should look like the same triangle if you do it right. So, if it's pretty close, then the middle. <laughs> yeah, right, we'll, right, see, right. we'll see how grumpy I am when I go to draw. If they both look like me, I hate drawing. <laughs> draw rings. Fifteen's easy, it's only a line segment. So we should do fourteen. <laughs> Instead of fifteen. Yeah, it's the same. They're all the same. Now fourteen's moving up left, so you need to start your picture down to the right. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> right. So on fifteen will be more like slightly down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's gonna be down left, so uh, Alright, so it's W, Y. Well, yeah, but like, well, the lines. And the like, vertex, or the. Yeah. Let's see, that's called it. Vector V. So that means Y is going like right here, Y prime, and W is going like right there. So. W prime. Like that. Kind of messed. Is it supposed to be steeper then? No, it should be the same. I just don't draw it very well. You're just sliding it like you're. Like you're just moving it where the arrow points, the vector points. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's it like you're like the putting your finger on it and dragging it across the page. That's what it should look like. That makes sense. Oh, that's, okay. that's what they mean by translation. It just moves it, moves over. Do you want us to draw like the vector line too, or can we just draw the? They did ask you to draw the vector line. Oh. <laughs> The vector tells you where to move it. Yeah. Okay, and how far also. 17. So 17 is a graph, so I'm just going to sketch a graph. We're not going to get out graph paper. Um, do you guys remember from Algebra 1 what equation made this graph? No. I don't even remember what type of graph it is. Well, you might not have done this. So this is y equals absolute value of x. Oh Remember my that from last year? Oh, I hate absolute value. <laughs> okay, but if you look at the vector v, it's like negative 2, negative 2. Do we need to draw it also? 
Vector V, uh, I'm going to put over here, but it's basically it's negative 2, negative 2 if you look at the picture. So if I move the vertex down to left 2, it's like right there. When I go to draw that V, it's actually overlapping the other V. Okay. Nineteen. We'll give this one to Emily. Nineteen asks, what's the length of segment AB on number seven? What's the length of segment AB on number seven? Or how would we do it? Three, you go over three. So it's three and one. Three one. So how do we find the length? Um, oh god. Emily, you like this. Oh! <laughs> three, three, what is three squared plus x squared? Mm -hmm. Or plus one squared equals x squared. And then it's going to be nine and one equals x squared. Uh, ten. Okay, that's the length of the uh, segment. So, how long do you guys think segment A prime B prime is? I don't know. You look at the picture in number seven. How long will segment A prime B prime be? Over three or four. How long? How long is this segment going to be? Wait, what did you say? Three? No, it's three. Three. A prime, B prime. How long will that segment be? Three. What'd you say? Okay, A, B is square root of ten. Oh, wait, so it's, uh, well, it's square root of ten. Five. No. No. It's a weird decimal. It's like uh, 3.1. point one. Three point two. Uh, the point was they're the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're the same, so they're both square to 10. But the next question is um, on number 19. Does segment length appear to remain constant during a translation? Yes. Yes. Everything stays the same when you translate. Same thing when we reflected yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. All the lengths of the segments stay the same. So we're supposed to put yes, segment lengths are the same. They just write, they just put yes, that's fine. Okay. I put yes, exclamation mark. Well, that is wrong. Oh. 